Hi, I'm Jen from Online Fabric Store. Kimonos are comfy and easy to wear with almost anything. The one I'm going to make is made out of chiffon fabric, making it light and flowy. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are a yard and a half of sheer fabric. I'm using plum chiffon fabric. Four and a half yards of trim. I'm using four inch black chainette fringe trim. Thread, fabric scissors, ballpoint pins, a ruler, and a ballpoint needle. Fold the fabric in half so that the salvages meet. If there is a right side to your fabric, make sure the right sides are facing. Fold the fabric in half again in the opposite direction and cut off the salvage. If you want the kimono sleeves to be shorter than a yard and a half from arm to arm, cut down the fabric on the side opposite the folded corner. From the corner where the unfolded edges meet, measure four and a half inches across the longer side of the fabric and mark with a pin. Measure up 14 inches from here and mark with a few pins. From this point, Pin across to the edge of the fabric. Cut out and discard this rectangle. Unfold the fabric once. Pin underneath the sleeves and down the side seams on both sides. Stitch with a half inch seam allowance. Afterwards, sew along the seams with a zigzag stitch. Fold the seams over, pin, and sew with a straight stitch. Chiffon frays easily, so this gives the inside seams a nice clean finish. Lay out the kimono flat on the table. Measure to find the center on the bottom and mark with a pin. Measure straight up from here and mark the middle of the top with a pin. Place a pin five inches from this mark on both sides and remove the middle pin. Mark straight lines from the bottom pin to these two top pins. Cut along the marks and across at the top. Make sure you're only cutting the top layer of fabric. Cut at an angle about one inch into the fabric at the corners of the neckline. Fold these edges over a half inch and iron. Fold over another half an inch and iron again. Stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance. Turn the kimono to the right side. Pin the trim to the bottom with the fringe facing upwards. Cut off the extra at the end and stitch with a half inch seam allowance. Repeat this to attach the trim to the sleeves. The kimono is now finished. By using a sheer fabric, it makes the kimono breathable and allows the garments underneath to show through. 
You can also wear it as a bathing suit cover up. Thanks for watching this OFS project.